Welcome to the uh, £10 note tutorial. Uh, what I'm going to try and do is uh, put a different face over the Queen space. Um, and uh, so who I've chosen, I've chosen Camilla Parker Bowles, who uh, there's an outside chance she may be Queen one day. Um, and her face is very similar, so this this particular one makes it quite an easy uh, you know, tutorial to do. Um, so uh, let me get started with this and show you what to do. I'm just going to minimise this down out of the way and bring up my tutorial. So we're starting with a £10 note and uh, I'm just going to talk through um, the first few steps that I've already taken. Um, first of all I've got an image of uh, Camilla so there she is. Okay, uh, Let's go on that layer, that's Camilla. Um, and she's got a very similar shape so uh, uh, but unfortunately her hair comes right down on her forehead um, so what I'm going to do is just use her main features her eyes and nose and mouth and her chin um, and take away the other information and for speed I've already cropped this so I've used the pen tool and I've gone round very carefully and uh, cropped out the hair so let me show you that uh, there she is and I've moved her across and resized it onto the face uh, of the Queen. And as you can see I've had to take this hair out across the eyebrow so I'm going to use the Queen's eyebrow um, and the more information I can keep of the original picture the better uh, in a sense. So I can now turn the original picture of Camilla off um, and uh, I've got to turn this into a grayscale so I'm going to click on that layer and go up to image and adjustment and go down to desaturate. Now desaturate takes all the colour out so that's image adjustment and desaturate. So if I do that there we go it's taken the, the colour down. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, uh, I've already pre-done this, um, I've got a an image there uh, called gradient colour um, and what I've done again I've gone round with the pen tool and I've gone round the Queen's outline okay um, and I've just filled that with the colour at the moment and this is going to be useful to do at a later date so I put a new layer in and then I just actually went all the way around the outline with the pen tool uh, made a selection and then filled it with color, with a blank colour um, and we come back to that use of that later on so I'm going to turn that off for now. The next thing we're going to do is make uh, some patterning uh, because if I turn off uh, Camilla's face and zoom in a bit and have a look at the Queen there. You can see there's an awful lot of patterning over it and we've got to sort of represent that um, as something similar. Uh, so we've got to make a, um, if you can have a look, there's a sort of wave line in there um, and there's all sorts of uh, other things going on. Um, now I'm not going to um, actually make this exact but I'm going to make a, something very similar okay so it looks right. So that's just the main task really, to make it look like it um, fits. So we're going to move to how to do a pattern. Um, so let me just zoom back out again. Um, I'm going to come back to Camilla's face here and turn that back on and insert a new layer. Okay, so there's my new layer. And the first thing I'm going to do is fill that. Okay, and I'm going to fill it with a pattern. So I'm going to go to Edit and Fill. Okay, and I'm going to go to my custom patterns here and I'm going to come across to this little icon here and choose patterns and OK and uh, save changes, no I don't need to save any changes and I'm going to take this pattern here um, and it's called herringbone so it's a herringbone pattern and I'm going to OK that and that's put it right across the page um, so if I just click on my layer 1 here and call it pattern 1 I'll call it pat 1 OK um, and I'm going to change the blend mode from normal to overlay and you can see it's overlaid already a pattern if I zoom in there yeah we've got a, a pattern now it's not good enough yet but it's it's a start okay next thing I'm going to do is make a custom pattern one of my own um, we want a wave pattern so I'm going to go to file and new and here I've set um, I've, trained, I've made sure this is on pixels and I've made 4 pixels width, 4 pixels height and resolution 72 so it's a very very small um, so I'm going to OK that and that will bring a new uh, page up which is absolutely tiny, I'll zoom into as far as it will go and I'm going to take my rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to stretch across halfway and I'm simply going to fill uh, it black so one half is black, one half is white and this will give me a black line and a white line at two pixels each which is very very tiny I'm going to go to select, deselect and this is how you make the pattern, you go to edit and define pattern 
and give it a name and I'll call this 4 pixels and OK it and I can get rid of that now I don't need it that's my work out the way for that one so do I want to save it? No. So back to this one again I'm going to now insert a new layer above this layer so I'm going to put a new layer in and I'm going to go back to edit and fill and I'm going to go to our patterns and it should be the last one in which is there and OK it and that's brought that in and if I zoom in you'll see it's that black and white line I'll zoom back out again now unfortunately it's just a straight line at the moment so I've got to make a wave so I'm going to go up to filter and distort and go to wave alright now the settings on my wave um, it's already set at 5 for the number of generators so that's fine uh, but the wavelength um, I want I suppose around about uh, I've done this before so I think it was about 170 something like that so 169 is fine uh, for both of them um, and the aptitude um, was about 220 I think it was so oh bang on and 220 that's fine um, and the scaling um, is about 34 percent for the top one 34 something like that 35 there we go and it was about eight uh, for the bottom one so oh there's a type it in nine will do and I'm going to okay that and that's given me a wave and again if I zoom in you can see the wave there okay so I've got two different patterns and gr gradients here um, so I'm going to make that layer um, on overlay as well so set the blending mode to overlay and you can see I've got two very fine patterns there now they're a bit strong so what I'm going to do I'm going to merge this one down with this one so I'm going to right mouse click on this layer and I'm going to uh, merge down so I've got them both together and I'm going to take the opacity down so I'm going to take the opacity down about 70% something like that uh, there we go about 70% that do okay so it's uh, less and I'll come back and look at that in a minute um, but of course it's right across the note at the moment so I want to change that I want to just have it across the face area so this is where the gradient color um, that I put in earlier um, will come in if I hold down control and click on the image itself there on the layer alright it's selected that shape okay and if I click back on this layer which I'm already on sorry um, which is the pattern one um, and go up to select because it's a selection and inverse that selection so I'm selecting everything but that shape and hit delete on my keyboard I've taken all that information away so now it's uh, just on the, the area of the Queen uh, or Camilla now um, so I'm going to go up to select and deselect right okay I'm going to zoom in again a little bit and uh, if we zoom in a bit more I can just see the patterning and so you can see there's a pattern in there all right now it still looks very different because of the color change so what I've got to do is now alter the color so it all blends in okay we're now going to add a gradient across the uh, the area there to try and blend Camilla's face in with the Queen's um, so I'm going to just turn Camilla's off Camilla's face off at the moment um, and I'm going to zoom right in to the Queen's head there um, and you can see there's some blues and so, or some greys and some sort of uh, skin colour, pinky colour. Um, so I'm going to make a gradient between those two colours. So I'm going to go to my fill bucket and hold down and get my gradient tool, which brings this box up up, up here. At the moment it's black and white, which uh, reflects these two colours here. If I click on that, it gives me a selection. Uh, but I'm going to make my own. So I'm going to click on the black here, okay, um, and I'm going to come in with my eyedropper and choose that sort of bluish colour there or grey colour. Um, so something like that and on this side I'm instead of white I'm going to click on that and choose some of this sort of pinky color and OK it and zoom back out now I want to put a gradient across the whole thing so I'm going to turn Camilla's face back on and this is where this mask that I did earlier comes into play so I'm going to switch that on um, and click on that layer so I'm actually operating on that layer and I'm basically going to hold down control on my keyboard and click on the mask image on the layers box and that makes a selection okay and then I'm just going to drag a line all right which is giving me blue to pink I'm going to go the other way actually so it's more blue down here or gray down here um, and I'm going to change the blend mode from normal to color okay so that gives me a feel of the same sort of texture and then I'm going to select deselect 
Okay, that's look, looking pretty good. I'm now just going to zoom in a little bit. Uh, turn my patterning back on. And uh, we're nearly there, basically. I think uh, I'm going to take this patterning and just have a play with its opacity a little bit. Just to bring it down maybe a little bit more. Now we'll bring it up. There we go. And just to tweak it, I'm going to take this pattern and I'm going to take my razor tool and I'm going to set it to a very soft brush, which it already is. And I'm just going to bring back some of the information um, of the queen, like that, so it doesn't have all of the uh, texture in. Areas have that. And the same with the... Um, I'll keep the colour, actually, but I'm taking the texture off uh, where I don't need it. In fact, I'm going to undo that because I've got it off the face there. And I'll just take some off the face and blend a bit more in. Very subtle. Just bring that eyebrow in. And that is about it. I might just take the opacity off the face slightly. There we go. Uh, and zoom back out and uh, there's Camilla as the Queen. However, in case I'm dragged off to the tower, I think I will restore the Queen to her rightful place uh, before I get into trouble. That ends the tutorial.